What's up guys, Rob from Clicks Geek here. And in today's video, we're gonna run through Google Ads for local lead generation. And I'm actually gonna walk you through how to optimize a campaign that I haven't optimized yet. And it's funny, because this is actually one of my, this is my brother's campaign, right? So my brother, Mike, has a uh, CPR training um, business. And he started running Google Ads, small budget, $14 a day, but just to get going to see what we can do with it, we started rolling it out. I think he started like, let's see here. May 2nd, so a couple days, a little over a week, and um, you can see here some quick stuff. He's gotten a bunch of clicks, and he's gotten a bunch of leads, too, and this is before we've even done anything with this campaign. I've literally not even optimized yet, so we're going to do that today. Um, before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the link tree in the description. We have a ton of free stuff in there for you guys, also a free book, um, and if, as always, if you want to work with us, there's a link to our um, application page for our... Uh, our uh, agency. All right, so let's go right into it. We're probably going to do today a little bit of Google Ads optimization and landing page optimization, depending on what I find. And I'll kind of walk you through my logic of what I'm looking for. So I just did last 14 days to catch all of uh, all the days we were running, and he was paused a few days, I think, and in between. So there's it's kind of uh, shaky. So I want to do last 14 days. Now. They've gotten, uh, Mike's got 59 clicks, 519 impressions. And keep in mind, this is a really small local campaign. This is one one or two counties, I believe. I think it's two counties in Pennsylvania. 11% click-through rate, average cost per clicks, $1.68. Total cost that he spent since the campaign started was $99. And he's gotten nine leads at a cost per lead of $11. Conversion rate of 15%, which I'm okay with, but ideally I'd like that to be above 20 or 25 as you guys know but to start that's not bad and Mike has booked jobs from this so there is an ROI in the campaign already from, from just the nine leads so if we go into like ad groups and we sort by ad groups here and clicks we can see here all right CPR classes 31 clicks one conversion 50 bucks so that's not that is not what we want so let's go into that ad group and see what's going on here all right, so we see the phrase match got 16 clicks, one lead. Near me, five clicks, nothing. So I'm just going to pause that. That's 0 for 5. And we're going to go in and see what's going on in the search terms report for this ad group. But 0 for 5 is no bueno, and I just probably not waste time. So if we go into search terms for this ad group, we're going to see the actual keywords typed into Google. And it's not even showing the conversion that came through, which is probably because Google just changed how they do that or it could be it was a call so here right off the bat here YMCA CPR classes st. Mary's CPR classes um, pulse CPR training so these are all these are all ad groups or I'm sorry these are all keywords we're gonna have to uh, add to a negative list so let me open this up and we're just gonna create something really quick just so we have it so YMCA was one. Let's go back in there. St. Mary. That's one. Red Cross, no, because he works for the Red Cross, technically. Pulse. Not really sure what that is, but just get rid of it. All right, these are good, baby. We should probably actually break these off into its own ad group. Pet CPR, so no, we don't want pet stuff. So what we're doing here is just taking terms that wasted money and making sure we don't do that again. All right, so CPR classes is near me. No, these are good. All right, so let's go back out of that. We're going to keep the one keyword that drove a lead going. I'm going to let it go for another week and just see, because $27 is still not bad for a conversion for this. So I'm going to keep that going. So if we go now just to the overall campaign view, we'll go to search terms and we'll just see what is going on here. All right, so CPR certification near me. That is a good one. We want more of that. Classes near me. Looks good. All right, so not really much data to go off of, but we did find some good negatives, so that's a positive thing here. 
Let's go into the settings and I want to see what the conversion rates are based on devices. All right, so computers is actually a little bit higher. So I'm going to remove that negative 7% because I honestly did not believe that that would that would not uh that that would convert higher. Usually it doesn't, but we'll get rid of that. And $12 leads for mobile, I'm happy with. Let's take tablet off too just to see what that does. So that looks good. Now let's go up to recommendations and just see what kind of shit Google's trying to sling at us. Sometimes it's not bad. All right, so I'm not going to do this. I am going to try this. I'm going to get rid of this. Don't want dynamic ads. So I'm actually going to try maximize conversions, which is funny that they're suggesting this because I just talked. Yesterday was Mother's Day, so obviously I, I saw my brother. And uh, I actually just told him that this is something, this is the next move when Google's ready for it to be done. And Google's basically telling us by recommending this, hey, looks like you got enough data to uh, to run maximized conversions, and um, you should do that. So we're going to give it a go, and we'll see how that does over the next week. Should be good, though. And we're going to take the negative keywords that we added, or that we curated from the search terms report. We're going to drop those into the negative keyword list. We're going to let Google take the reins for bidding, so we're not going to optimize any bids or anything like that. I do just want to take one more look at the keywords. It's funny that CPR certification near me, and CPR classes near me, didn't work, but certification did strange all right well we're gonna let google do its thing now so we'll see how that goes and that's probably ed messaging me right now beat it ed get out of here all right uh so yeah that's uh that's all i got for today but you can see here i think i said this was two counties and if we go in here it's montgomery bucks yeah chester and if you want to see the landing page you actually have that pull up too so i don't know if I'm, i don't know if i can adjust this to get it all in view but it's really simple um Logo, call to action, contact form, all the sites he does trainings at. More call to actions, bullet points, um, some COVID info, talks about what they do, introduces everybody, their instructors, stuff like that. Call to action, more class pictures of all the stuff they do. Final call to action. So really simple landing page, um, effective. I mean, you saw it converting an 18% on a uh, desktop and I think it was 13% on mobile so we can definitely bump that up and I'm sure maximize conversions is gonna have a huge part in that but so far so good Mike's booking deals there is an ROI in the campaign so we'll just let the train keep going and um, again if you're looking to run local ads in your area for your business or you have a client who wants to run Google Ads stuff like that obviously drop a uh, comment below this video or you can visit but one of the links in the description we have a ton of stuff in there for you guys as i said before and uh, again don't forget to subscribe to the channel hopefully this was informative <laughs> i'm actually gonna send this to mike right now so uh thanks guys and i'll catch you later